Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I am talking about Transformers The Last Night. Actually, more specifically, Transformers The Last Night and the movies coming out after. Now, with Transformers Age of Extinction, they had this- oh, I hit the camera. They had this whole thing to where they had to go after the seed because the seed was important, and pretty much that was it. You know, the, the seed can pretty much make what the Sabatronians are made of or something. It can pretty much... It, it does something to populate and make Cybertronians. But in Transformers Age of Extinction, it just seemed like it was just something to go after. And that was it. Like, it had no importance whatsoever except for, Hey, let's go after this thing! It, it could microwave marshmallows for all we care. Whatever, it's just something to go after, right? Well, actually, there might be more importance than we originally realized. Now, in that movie, it was just something to go after. You know, we didn't think much of it. But I have a feeling that that object might be more important in the next couple of movies. In the Joe Blow report, they said that Optimus Prime uh, goes to Cybertron, and he discovers that he is the reason why Cybertron is a dead and barren Wasteland, which I'm going to do a video on that in the future, but uh, pretty much that he had to go back to Earth or get something. It, he had to go get an artifact that would bring life back to Cybertron. Now, with that said, yes, he could bring life back to Cybertron, but how are you going to populate it? Except for, you know, the traditional way. <laughs> but, uh, I had the thought that Optimus Prime really needed that seed to create Cybertronians, because as we know in Transformers Age of Extinction, the seed was definitely important for the population of Cybertronians and creating them. So I think that Optimus Prime really needs the seed to repopulate Cybertron, and with that said, I had a thought that at some point in time, Cybertron might come back. It might, it might pretty much be full of life in a future movie. And I had a thought of when that might be. Would it be in Transformers 6? Or would it be after that? I have a feeling it would be starting up from Transformers 6? And then after that, we might see a few, like, um, origin films or, like, films that took place in certain points in the Transformers lore just to kind of fill in the gaps or do whatever. But after Transformers 6, I have a feeling that we might see more Transformers films that actually take place on Cybertron. And thanks to the seed, we're going to see some new characters eventually in the Transformers lore. Now, I'm only speculating at this point. That's all I'm doing. I'm not confirming anything. But it seems to me that at some point the seed is going to be really, really important and more important than we originally realized. And it's not just something in Transformers Age of Extinction that they went after. It's actually going to be more important than we originally than we originally realized. But anyways, that's pretty much my speculation. You guys have the comment section. You guys can do videos and reply. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Get out of my house. Anyways, that is pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, Transformers fan page, and Journey to TF5. Journey to TF5 is pretty much where I talk about Transformers 5 and update you guys on that. Anyways, once again, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.